<laughs> oh my god, I don't even know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back. Hi guys, I am back with another video and this time it's a full face of drugstore makeup. Um, I came up with this freaking cute ass look. Okay, like this look is so cute, all right? And everything used in today's video is literally all drugstore. I know some of you guys out there um, literally struggle with buying very high-end products. Like, it's so expensive nowadays, all right? I know, I understand I was that girl before um but luckily a lot of drugstore brands are coming out with some bomb ass makeup so today i'm gonna go ahead and be using a whole bunch of the drugstore makeup and putting it on my face and creating this masterpiece right here okay so if you guys would like to see how i got this look then just go ahead and please continue to watch and before you do that go ahead and like comment and subscribe the red button's right down below subscribe to my channel and yeah without further more to talk about let's just go ahead and jump into the video all right, so I just literally filmed, or at least I thought I was filming my whole eyebrow routine or whatever, you know, it didn't happen. I don't know what happened, but my camera just straight up glitched. I had to fix it. We're good to go now. Hopefully it does not cut off again. But like I was saying previously, I went in with the e.l.f. brow pencil. This one is in the shade taupe. This is the ultra precise brow pencil. Um, like I was saying, I don't really like using brow pencils, but this will do. And I honestly don't like the color of this one. I wish I would have gotten a more darker one or maybe even like a warmer tone. But yeah, I went in with this. Um, and then for brow gel, I actually used my got to be um, hair gel, which is really good. I honestly, I really use it all the time for my brows to keep them in place and everything. So I like that product a lot so yeah and then i went ahead and i primed the lids with this elf hydrating camel concealer it's my favorite concealer it is literally one of my favorite concealers so yeah um now that we are done with that um hmm, i feel like this eyebrow is a little bit weird but it's all good hopefully that does or whatever so on to the next product also peep the cup my boyfriend had it made for me it says at the marissa lynn and it's custom made it's a starbucks cup um and the woman she actually filled it with pink glitter like pink is my favorite color this is really cute i love it so yeah awesome we now have a cup to drink out of yay all right so the next product I'm going to go in with is this e.l.f. Um, Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette. This is in the color Berry Bad. Y'all know I'm really into browns. I love my browns and all that, but I couldn't pass this tiny little palette up. It was only like $3. And I am really, I used to be really into like berry colors and everything. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just swatch it for you guys. That's the first shade. Because I know a lot of y'all out there um, don't really like buying high-end products. Like, to be honest, I really didn't. I was more into drugstore than I was anything else. But these e.l.f. Bite Size palettes are so flipping cute. Like, look at how pigmented those are. And like I said, I do have the pumpkin pie one and I love it, okay? I love that one. So yeah, for today's video, we are going to be using this one right here. She's cute, okay? She's cute. But what I'm gonna do is, I am actually gonna be doing like a winged out, smoked out liner moment. So I wanna go in with the darkest shade first. Um, this doesn't have a name, it's just the dark shade. And I'm gonna be placing that the outer part i don't really set my lids that much and if i do it's the most smallest amount of, amount of powder because i like to keep my lids somewhat sticky especially for looks like this i want my eyeshadow to be able to pop a little bit more or just stay true to color so i don't really set them but i set them if that makes sense so i'm not really sure what the heck happened with my camera i'm hoping that 
it doesn't do that again because this camera was so expensive and I really don't feel like having to go out and like repurchase a whole other camera or anything like no no I'm switching to this eyeliner brush here just gonna create like a little wing liner moment Okay, so now taking this flat shader brush and I'm just going to dip back into that eyeshadow just a tiny little bit just because like I said I want this to be super smoked out so I'm going to try to just blend it out just a little bit because you'll see what I'm going to do next is I want to kind of just take that color and just bring it into the crease just a tiny little bit almost like a fox eye you already know like i do love my fox eye looks okay and i really do think it helps lift my eyes up especially because i do have hooded eyes just slightly not too much but oh, no. oh god makeup on me so for the next color i'm gonna be going in with this very light rosy mauve color like it's, it's literally like a dusty rose and I'm going to just be dragging that right here on the outer part. Y'all, I'm sorry if my mirror is in the way, like I, I cannot see if it's this far, okay? I just can't. I'm a glasses wearer. If you didn't see on my vlog, I wear glasses uh, all the time. So I'm just gonna take that color and I wanna just drag it mainly on the outer part. And I want to connect it to that wing. And just take it into the crease just a little bit. Okay, so I kind of want to add that dusty rose color. And I want to just mix um, both the dusty rose one and the dark maroon shade together. Just because I want it to be a little bit more of both shades on the outer crease. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that with those shades. And I'm going to be taking my Morphe M... That one? I don't know the shade, I mean the color name, <laughs> the brush number. So I'm just going to be taking those two. And I'm going to be... Just kind of like going like that <laughs> okay um yeah i'm just gonna take it on the outer corner okay both of those shapes <laughs> and um go in circular motions and everything because i just want this outer part to be a little darker if that makes sense Just a tad little bit. Okay, so now that we have that done, I just cleaned it up real quick just because I don't like whenever it looks messy and everything that I feel like I messed up. You know what I mean? So I just cleaned it up. Um, for the next shade, I really don't know what I want to do. I don't know if I want to go in with this darker maroon color or this lighter um, like dark brown copper color. Um, hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this shade right here, which happens to be that shade, just because it's like way more vibrant than the other one. And I'm just gonna take that on my finger and place it right here. and tap it in to the inner part y'all kind of already see like my face and how i'm looking because oh i don't know okay so now that i feel like my eyes are good i'm gonna go ahead and go in with face and i'm gonna do lashes last because i don't really like when the foundation gets into my eyelashes that like it bothers me okay it bothers me then you gotta take it out no i'm okay so i'm gonna go in with 
I use this in every video. We already know this is the e.l.f. Retro Paradise Primer Glow Oil. And this is a very inexpensive but freaking awesome drugstore primer, okay? So if y'all want something that is going to just make your skin feel really good, really hydrated, especially now that it's colder. I know a lot of you out there are more than likely oily, um, but I'm dry. So if you guys want to try another e.l.f. or any type of drugstore product, I highly recommend the e.l.f. Um, primer putty just because I heard a lot of good things about it. I heard it's just like the Tatcha one, but I don't use my Tatcha one anymore just because I am so dry, so I use this oil. Okay, so my skin has been doing so, so good lately. Like, I know that I still have a lot of acne scars and whatnot, but my skin has been doing so freaking awesome. Um, especially if you've seen my vlog, then y'all know, like, y'all see a lot of acne scars, but my face is honestly very smooth now because I've been using so many good products. And if you guys want to know the products that I've been using for my skin, then go ahead and just check out my last video, my vlog, and I show you all the products that I use because, to be honest, it's been making my skin so freaking good okay so good so next i'm gonna go in with a new foundation this is the elf flawless finish foundation um i did already swatch this on my face and to be honest it is a little light but i really did like the coverage and the finish that it gave off so i'm just gonna go ahead and still use it just because i don't want to cheat on this video i don't want to like oh there's something in my eye I don't want to like go in with any of my high-end foundations so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on my face <laughs> and like I said it is it's light okay but we're just gonna kind of try to just go with it and hopefully you know bronzer and everything um, just kind of like makes it look a little bit better but we will see and blend it out and like i said when i did try this the other day i really did like the finish of it um but it's just hella light okay so we're just gonna keep on pushing through this video because i don't ever stray away from my makeup forever foundation or my nars foundation and i don't really ever cry at drugstore foundations so the next product i'm going to use you already know is one of my favorite products ever this is the elf hydrating camera concealer and i love love this concealer it is just so freaking stunning on the skin i love it but like do y'all see how that concealer is just kind of like way darker than the actual foundation I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep it in the areas where I wanted it to be. I don't really like dragging out my um, concealer too far. Okay, so I went ahead and just put on some powder. Um, I used my Laura Mercier powder because I did not want to use a drugstore powder that I just knew wouldn't work for me personally. Um, I know that there is airspun, but I don't use airspun, okay? Like airspun to me is just, I don't like it. Now, if you want, you can use some airspun, you know, but like not for me. So I just went ahead and, you know, blended out the nose contour, all that stuff. I know I look kind of weird right now, but we're just going to, like I said, we're going to go with the flow. So next, I'm going to go in with bronzer, and this is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer in Forever Sunkissed. Now, I don't know if they make any other shades that are a little darker. I only seen this one at my local Walmart, so... Um, I'm not really sure if they only make this shade then i suggest they come out with more but i'm pretty sure that they make more shades okay so you just have to look um this one seemed to be okay because i know i can just build it up if i needed to so yeah that's just how it looks it looks really light on camera but 
we're gonna see okay we're gonna see um i'm gonna go in with my very large morphe brush this is the morphe r7 brush and all my brushes are from morphe by the way they're very inexpensive for all my girls and guys out there that want brushes very inexpensive brushes i love them so yeah we're just gonna go ahead and see how this turns out it's giving me some color i believe like i feel like it's giving me some color and i know my brush is dirty but i dusted this bitch off okay i dusted it off excuse my language but i dusted this bee off okay it is not covered in old product And then I'm just gonna dust the rest on the face just to add a little bit of color back. Because I don't wanna like look. Oh, my earring! Mm. Okay, so now on to the next product. I honestly think that I'm going to love this product. This is the e.l.f. Um, Primer Infused Blush in Always Rosy. Now, I told y'all at the beginning that I'm going to be using a lot of e.l.f. products, or at least I think I told y'all. I don't know. Um, but you already know I love blush. This is a little bit dark for my skin tone. Um, I didn't see any other blushes that were just a little lighter but like i said in all the rest of my videos i wanted something a little darker just because i wanted my cheeks to look a little bit more realistic like like you're flushed you know what i mean um so yeah i picked this one up right here and um i wish these had a mirror but we'll see how this turns out because i've never used any other drugstore blush other than my milani one and y'all know i love milani okay but i wanted to just pick something else up that was a little different so maybe i picked a little too much up okay i see something that i feel like i picked way too much blush up so if you're gonna dip your brush in just kind of like do it a little bit because I didn't think that I was going to see anything at first, but I see a lot, so. So I didn't pick up a lip liner, which is unfortunate, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this e.l.f. No Budge Retractable Eyeliner in Coffee. This is the waterproof one, and when I seen it, I was like, whew, I need a brown eyeliner. I'm just going to put that in the waterline first. And it kind of shows up, but it really kind of doesn't at the same time, if that makes sense. Yeah, like, this isn't really showing up. This is not showing up at all. Like, it's showing up on the back of my hand, but it's not showing up on my eyes, which is kind of unfortunate. But since I didn't pick up a lip liner, I'm going to go ahead and use this one. Okay, so I just applied that and I... <laughs> I don't know okay i really don't know um for the next two lip products i'm going to be using uh is the elf seriously satin lipstick in the shade coco now she looks like this it really looks like a dark maroon shade that hopefully y'all can see that but like y'all see so i'm gonna use this real quick all right y'all so we're just going to go ahead and finish with the eyes. To be honest, I love the lipsticks. I think that they are very silky smooth, like high-end lipsticks. I don't like colors like this. I just need... I don't know. You know, when it comes to the nudes, they like really get me, okay? They really do. So, I don't know. But for the eyes, we're going to go ahead and just finish off with them. Um, since we're already here, I'm going to mix these two right here from the same tiny little palette and i'm going to take that on this brush here 
and I'm just going to just dust it in the inner corner and like I said I'm not really going to pack this shade on I really do want it to be super sheer and just like just you know just like a little touch you know what I mean and then just to add a little dimension, I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Palette. And I'm going to be taking the shade Botanic Dream. And I'm just trying to stick with um, almost like the same color tone. So this is like a very beautiful pink color. My cousin actually gave me this palette. And I mean, I'm not into highlighters like I used to be, but it's a really nice palette, okay? And the highlighters are very pigmented. So I'm just going to place that right in the inner just to add a little bit more dimension. Okay, so now that I got my eyelashes on, by the way, I just used my regular Ardell Faux Mink lashes. Those are my favorite eyelashes to use from the drugstore, like literally the only eyelashes I use at all. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and go in with my favorite drugstore mascara. This is the only mascara I use for my lashes. This is the Falsies Lash Lift by Maybelline. Oh my god. And I just love using this on my eyelashes. It makes them very long and thick. Very pretty eyelashes, like no lie. All right, everybody, so here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I had a lot of fun creating this look, okay, with all drugstore products. Like, honestly, I thought the foundation wasn't that well, but you know, like, you know, bronzing and doing all that stuff that you have to do after you put on foundation, it really came out like so good, okay? Like, the lipstick, really cute, it's not, my type of color i'd have to say but it is very freaking cute all right like come on now y'all like seriously look at this whole vibe right now okay um all of the makeup used in this video i'll have a link down below if you guys would like to purchase it go ahead and use my bitly links they're just right there you know what i mean um if you're having some trouble finding them um also go ahead and follow me on instagram if you haven't already and like comment and subscribe to my video red buttons right down below okay and let me know what you guys would like to see next and yeah so i guess i will just go ahead and see you guys on the next video bye